Go ahead. This is the new Tektronix WFM 2300 waveform monitor. It's an ideal tool for installation and maintenance with physical layer measurements added to the particular platform. So you can see the eye and jitter measurements along with the SDI status display showing the physical layer of the signal. I'll bring the eye display to full screen so you can see directly the measurements automatically made of the rise time and fall time and amplitude of the signal within the eye display along with the jitter meter at the top of the screen. So here we can use and see the physical layer of this STI signal. The WFM2300 has a range of different inputs, starting with the SDI-A input, which is where we can view the eye display and physical layer measurements of a signal. The secondary SDI input is a multiple input that can not only be used for SDI, but also LTC and AES inputs and the user can configure those to be able to view those signals within the instrument. The next input and output loop is the cable stress loop. So this adds an additional 20 meters of 1694 Belden cable and can add stressing into the signal. You can use this in two ways. One is you can take the SDI test signal output of the WFM2300 on this connector and put it directly into the loop. Then you can take the loop output and put that into SDI-A. Now we've added an additional 20 meters of cable to this particular signal. So you can see that the amplitude of the signal has decreased and the bandwidth frequency response of the signal has also decreased because the rise time and fall time of the signal have gotten longer. So this stressing loop can be added either from a signal under test or going to a signal under test for length testing of the installation of a cable within a plant or testing the signal in a plant. So this adds an additional stressing system to here. We can also go into the configuration menu of the unit and if we add in more um, stress to the signal you can see that this will get larger and larger as we increase the value. So let's just go in to that stressing loop and increase the value. So you can see the change in the jitter that's being added to this signal. So those are additional checks that you can do to stress the SDI signal going through a device on the test. 